Hello, welcome to Luna Midnight Designs. Before anything else, I want to say thank you. Thank you for all the support and love I have been getting. I appreciate it all. I am also grateful for all the wonderful comments and reading about how you all love the dolls. I hope to do something special to get back to all of you, so stay tuned for that. Now, back to the doll. So I started this project way before YouTube and prepped the doll and did some body mods as well. Her multiple arms and eyes make this doll so unique. I wanted to have also really pointy feet to make her look even less human. My concept is an alien fairy. So let's begin turning this spider girl into an alien fairy. Before giving her hair, I paint her head blue so that the hair looks more full. I do add baby hairs, but in the end they end up not being seen once the hair is glued on. The hair I'm using is braided nylon from the doll planet. Instead of rerouting, I glue the braids to the head from the top of her forehead to the back of her neck. After the first layer is glued on, I do add a second layer, but I don't glue it down all the way, I glue it about down halfway to her head. Oops, I forgot to mention her ears. They were ears that I got with a doll lot a long time ago. I don't know where they came from, but I just attached them to her head using wire, glue, and epoxy sculpt. For her wings, I really wanted long and big wings, but making them was a different story entirely. I start by drawing them out in scale with the doll with the body so that I know better how big to make them and to see how they will fit with the doll. My first attempt for the wings was to create an outline using wire, but it was hard to make the shape. So that was a fail. Second try was to use a small amount of wire to attach the wings to the doll and then the main part of the wings was resin, but it was hard to get a nice wing shape and it was flat and bumpy. Third try was air dry clay and well, it was a fail. This is the plague mask all over again. Fourth was to cut the wings out of clear thick plastic, but these were too big for the doll. My fifth try was to make the wings smaller and paint them with acrylic paint, but the paint would peel off and it didn't work. Finally, I used the same plastic to pour resin on and add color resin and it finally worked. For the wings, I first cut out the shape I want and tape it to a flat surface. Next, I pour the resin and then use a paintbrush, making sure that there is an even thick coat of resin all around the plastic and that the tail is extra thick so that it doesn't break. Once the layer is even, I add colored drops, blue, purple, and white, and then use a brush to blend the colors. It doesn't need to be fully blended, it's up to you how you want the colors to flow. Once I like the colors, I cure the resin. After it is cured, I coat another layer of resin sealing in the color that leaks out and cure again. Then I coat the wings with the layer of top coat nail polish so that the glitter powder is able to stick to the wings. Then again, seal in the powder with another layer of nail polish. Once everything is dry, I carefully peel the clear plastic apart from the resin and give the back the same treatment with the nail polish and powder. Finally, I use glow-in-the-dark paint to create a simple wing design and then one last time use powder and nail polish to finish off the wings.
To add more detail to the wings, I drill holes and add rings and silver chains to add a little jewelry to the wings. Off camera, I add the same to her ears and arms. I did it off camera because it's hard to keep it in frame and my hands also block the view a few times. Now just to do that five more times for the other wings and you have a full set of fairy alien wings. For her body, I start with blushing with blues and purples. I also use glitter powder in blue and purple and white. I also have a thicker glitter powder, so I add that, which makes it look like there are stars on her body. For the body art, I first paint on the design with a dark purple to plan out how I want the design to look. I then add color paint once I'm happy with the design. I add lighter purples, blues, and whites. I then move on to her legs, first painting with the dark purple and then adding color. And the same with her feet. For her chest and hips, I first use white color pencil to draw on the design because it's easier to erase and clean up if I make a mistake. I also paint her back, but it ends up not being visible due to her wings. Then I move on to her arms. I blush her arms and hands the same as the body and then paint the design on only one of her arms and hands. I feel that if I added more, it would be a bit overwhelming. Time for the fun part. I paint over the design with a glow in the dark paint, but I do a different design from the colored design. My hope is that the glow in the dark paint will dry and won't be visible over the top colored design. And this was the case in most places, the camera just doesn't pick it up, but in some places where the glow in the dark paint is thicker, it is more visible, but if I make the paint thinner, it will be less visible in the dark. Before sealing the body with Mr. Super Clear Gloss, I add one more layer of glitter hoping will be visible in the end. 
I start her face with blushing and glitter powder. I started designing for her a year or so ago and I was always so scared to work on her because I wanted her to be perfect. And I was afraid that I would mess up her face, which is why her face was actually the last thing I worked on for this doll and I had no idea what I was gonna do. I also do a rough shape of her eyes in white and then begin with her face art design. Well, I start to draw on the design with white color pencil. I draw swirls and stars, trying to match it with the body art, but also keep it a little separate. I add wing details to the corner of her eyes. P.S. Comment down below how many wings you find in her design on her face or in her body art. Once I had the basic design done, I went in with other colors like blue and purple. And to better match the body art, I use acrylic paint as well. After the design is dry and done, I paint the eyes very simple, nothing too busy or human-like. Her smaller eyes are just purple with purple pupils with a little bit of white detail and then her main eyes are just all black. At this point, I realized all of the body and face blushing I did doesn't show up very well on either the face or the body. It was so pretty and now it has vanished, so to bring back some of the glitter and shine, I used Mr. Super Clear Gloss instead of matte as the finish for the body and face. And similar to the body, I add glow-in-the-dark elements to the face. And with that, the face-up is complete. I had these butterfly pendants lying around, so to add some fairy details, I cut one of the pendants in half and glue the wing pieces to her ears. And for the second pendant, I use it to attach the wings to her body. So to attach the wings, I use this butterfly pendant and place the wings inside the groove of the three wings on the pendant. To secure the rings to the pendant, I use resin. I tried multiple glues to attach the wings to the body, but n the only solution that worked was to attach magnets to the body and the wings with resin. The only problem is the magnets I used are weak, so I had to be very cave careful when posing the doll because the wings would fall off. And with that, the doll is done. And here is the final doll, the fairy alien named Asteria or Andromeda. I had her name picked out at the very beginning, but now I don't feel like it suits her. What do you guys think? Leave a comment if you have a name idea for her. And if I see a really good one, I'll change the video title. I'm very happy with how she turned out. Throughout this project, I was very worried I wasn't gonna like her because she chained so much from my original design. Like, I didn't plan any of the glow-in-the-dark elements. But I love her now and she is so pretty and very alien and fairy-like. I also didn't know if I wanted to give her clothes because they would cover up her body art and I feel like she would be too busy with clothes. Anyway, I hope you all had fun and enjoyed my video. 
Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Make sure to follow me on Instagram to see more and subscribe to catch future videos. Have a creative day. See you soon. Bye.